when Atlas dropped the bomb, they hoped it would finish the war. And instead, it unleashed a freak show like no one's ever seen. Three platoons were sent to cave Sergeant's head. Two came back in body bags. An acceptable loss by Atlas standards. Then they brought her here. For research. Gotta get a return on your investment. No one bothered to tell the rest of us. What the hell? There is no sub-level six. Execs do love their secrets. Oh no. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Ali, get me security. No. All of it. This is a code three evacuation. Oh. Remember the drill. Stay together. Try to. Son of a bitch! No warning. No backup. Approaching the landing zone and... No one left. What the hell? Get it off! Get it! But us. I fucking hate the Atlas Corporation. When we met, we had only two things in common. The wrong place and the wrong time. When you're facing a thousand mutant zombies eager to spoon out your brains, you learn to work together. Lily shot her first gun that day, like she was born to it. Ah, damn. Heads up. You're welcome. As for Khan, son of a bitch, he got his hands dirty for the first time in his life. Coming! And Decker enjoyed it all a little too damn much. Take that, you zombie shit! Woo! We were lucky to have found each other, but our luck was running out as fast as our ammo. Shit! What now? You still got your fists and your teeth. sudden feeling generous stabilizing there is station prep for transport i don't know how long we were out but it was long enough for things to go from bad to worse one shot to the head my head and the fog lifted his name is lennox works for sentinel they think they're the good guys you bastard you shot oz that thing you call oz he's the source of the infection a bullet's not gonna stop him what the fuck are you talking about the man is dead well so were you once and you and you you see a pattern here knew they'd do anything to get us back. What nobody factored was one of the pets was about to slip his leash. The Atlas infection blazed like a firestorm across the Western Hemisphere, consuming everyone and everything in its path. And I was the match those fucks had used to start it. I just couldn't remember any of it till now. Shit! The place is coming apart! Take him down! But you can't stop being what you truly are. Come on! Go, go, go! Even if it's a monster. Ha! We were lucky. 
Lucky? Take a good look at us. Look, if we survive, chances are Oz did too. We gotta be sure. So what happens if we find him? I think we, we all know the answer to that one, don't we? We picked up some close chatter. We think it's an Atlas Black Sun. We start there. Atlas had always posed as the savior of mankind while constructing some of the most horrific and lethal weapons to exterminate it, all for cold, hard cash. The only difference being, this weapon came home. So this is it, end of the line. It's better this way. I am what I am, and what I need to be is deleted from this world. Say goodbye to Big Bad Oz. Wait. I'll do it. Besides, there's only room for one monster in this world. Atlas will pay for what they did to you, Oz. And it had better watch its fucking ass. Lennox got promoted to Lieutenant Colonel for eradicating the source of the Atlas infection. He remains a total dick to this day. But I have to credit Lennox for pulling some strings and getting Decker admitted into Sentinel. Decker finally got his chance to be a proper soldier. He now fights on the front line against his former employer. Tired of the grime and the guns, Khan took up the fight against Atlas the best way he knew how, by suing him. The evidence he has amassed for his case is both substantial and damning. Of course, he had a little help from a former Atlas IT employee turned hacktivist. Atlas may stack the jury in their favor, but my bet is Lilith will serve her own brand of justice when she empties all their bank accounts. still fucking hate the Atlas Corporation. <laughs>